Okay, today we're working on a microwave, a Whirlpool. The thing went out on me. The thing's almost 20 years old. This thing was made in March 2001. I bought this microwave when I built the house. And it's been a good one. So it's, it only lacked three months before it was going to reach 20 years old. So what we're going to do today, we're going to, I'm going to do this video in two parts. I'm going to do it in, we're going to do the tear down and find out what's wrong with it. Right now I have no idea what's wrong with it. And then we're going to do the tear down and then we're going to order parts, whatever it needs. And the next video will be repairing it, put it back together and putting it back up here on the wall. So, I'm just like everybody else when it comes to YouTube. If something breaks down, I get on YouTube and I want to know. I look for videos on that subject. And if I don't find one, then it's a good opportunity to put something up there. I didn't find anything on this particular make and model of uh, microwave. I will put the I will put the model numbers down below in the description. And I forget how big a microwave this is, but it's made by Whirlpool. And it's, it's over the stove, you can see. But on this microwave, for the most part, it works. I have looked up a lot of different microwave videos, and the biggest complaint is I didn't get to hear what it sounded like before you fixed it. It puts out a real loud buzzing noise. So we're gonna see what it sounds like right now before I fix it. Add a minute. That's what it sounds like when it's... That's what it sounds like whenever it's uh, not working right and it puts off a smell, so there's something in there getting hot. You don't want to run it too long like that. It's probably already burned up anyway. Woo! Okay, in this case, it's probably one of three things. Making that loud noise. It could be the capacitor. It could be a diode. Or it could be the magnetron. Magnetron is a part that puts out the microwave signal and everything is over here on this one side. Okay, I've already started taking this apart. I've already taken out some screws. Already taken out the, the platter. And over here on this microwave, your, your paperwork's right here. This is your schematics. Shows what all's in there. Over here is your keypad. Undo a screw here. You raise this up and flip it down. Okay, see this this keypad and everything all still works good on it. So with that, you can tell your lighting all works, your bottom light still works, your fan still works. That tells me all the the fuses and everything's fine. That tells me this transformer is good, the main transformer is good, it's all getting power. There's relays right here. This is still on, so I gotta be real careful not to touch anything that's hot. But I just wanna show you inside here. Some microwaves you can get to your you can get to your diode from here. And your capacitor, well, I'll show you that when we do a teardown. You need to arc across it where you can kill the power on it. But in behind this one, you can't really access nothing, so it's got to come down. So we're gonna we're gonna unplug it. Also, on your micro switches, if if you're having 
problems with your micro switches on this particular model. And here's your micro switches right here, here and here. So you would have access to, if you get an error code on your door right here, then uh, you can access your micro switches right here. There's some uh, torque screws here. And then you can reach in there and you can pull each little module out to uh, repair it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to unplug it and then we're going to take this down off the wall. Okay, I have this thing unplugged. And now what we're going to do, there's two screws up here at the top. A cabinet up here. Right here on the corners here. Okay, we got the two two bolts loosened up. Got them loose. Pull the screws out. holding it. Okay, I got it down. There was like a little locking clip in there. Zoom in on it. Right in here was a locking, locking tab right here. Kind of help hold it. I guess while well, you got your screws or something in. I'm, maybe you raised up on it to pull it off. Anyway, that was, that was what was hanging me up. Once you release that one, it tips forward. And then, and then it's hanging on the, it's like a hinge on the bottom. Then you just pull it up off of it. And we'll start taking this thing apart. Okay, now I've got the I got the cover off that takes several screws on the back, the top, even down here on the bottom. Three down here, three or four up here, a few on top. Now we got these covers here to take off. This is over here on your this is your control board over here. We'll get the Get these screws out of here. Okay, we're just gonna put this right up in here out of the way. These are both ground wires here. Make sure we get them back on there. Okay, open up the garage doors here. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna we're gonna kill this capacitor here. Here's your capacitor over here in the corner here. Gotta run a screwdriver across it. Make sure there ain't no power to it. There's nothing there. 2000 volt uh, capacitor there. You don't wanna get shocked by that. We're gonna pull. On this one, the black goes to the top. The red goes to the bottom. And we'll put this down a little bit where you can see better. 
I don't want to take any more apart than what I have to. And if I forget where the wires go, then I'll have to look at the video again because that's the reason why I video referenced it. Black goes on the top. The red goes on the bottom. Actually, it's a black, black and red. White and black wire is what it is. Okay, here's your main transformer. That's good because we're getting power. Here's your Megatron right here. Capacitor. And this is... This is your uh, temperature sensor. Okay, we're going to take this temperature sensor off here. Try to take off as few wires as I can. What I might do is go ahead and take that one more wire off the Megatron. We're going to get a meter and we're going to test it. Test it for ohms. See if there's any shorts in it. And that'll let us know real quick whether we got a good one or a bad one. If I can get that last wire off. Really need to get it off of there. Let's see where's it go to. Okay, we've got this on 200 ohm. I'm gonna check between the two. The two on the Megatron here. These are your two main connectors. That one and that one. Okay, now it's down to three to four. Three to four ohms is fine. Okay, now we're gonna go to the million, two million. Now we're gonna check for shorts. Uh, one of these, the case. Not give me a number, but let me go down a couple notches here. Go down to 20k. Okay. Yeah, it's got two, three, one. So it's definitely got a short in it. I'd say that was the problem. Okay, I'm just gonna fix and take out this Megatron here. Magnetron. Like four bolts. Get that pulled out. And I'll take a closer look at it. Okay, next we pull the screw out and then we pull this piece out. It's right next to the Megatron. Pulled out this screw right here. Now it gives access for the Megatron on both sides. I believe them are torque screws, so I'm gonna have to go out, go out and get uh, some tools. I got this right by the table. And I'm not going to move it any further than I have to. Thing is freaking heavy. This big old transformer. It's hard to tell how many pounds that is. 
But we're going after this piece right here. Got two screws on each side here. And I pull that out. Okay, that is a that's a T20. Okay, in order to get the magnetron out, you're gonna have to when you get the four screws out, you can only pull it out so far and then it hangs up. So what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to take the bottom, this is the bottom part where your light is, split that, pull the case apart, and drop this down a half inch or so, half inch. So that widens the gap up here. So that opens up the widens the gap here. Okay, you see this right here? This normally sits up here. This sits up here. You gotta have that gap out of there. You gotta have that gap. We need to have that down below there in order to get this magnetron out of here see there's only so much room see the problem here then you still have to work its way out that probe there don't want to come out that's where your microwaves come from that's the number on the magnetron Whirlpool. Now we're going to test it one more time. Down on 2K. Now we've got to go 200 on. Can't drop down to five. Now we're gonna go to we'll go to 200 200 K. We'll do a case test. Okay, it does definitely has a short in it. So this is what's wrong with it. So we'll get one ordered. And on the next video, we'll put it all back together. So thanks for watching.